Hey, what's up, Gravy Flips? I got a really cool episode today. It's actually gonna be the first of probably about three or four episodes. I got my hands on a huge storage unit that the uh, owners called me up because I told them that I like to do junk removal and everything, and, and I normally go to storage unit auctions trying to get some cool things. And I started this channel in July after the last auction I went to in early, early summer where I got six units. But this time I got access to a really big storage unit and I'm actually filming my entire emptying of the unit. Uh, I got this one for free. And so you guys can actually see the entire process and go through everything, all the contents of this 20 by 30 unit. In the unit we're gonna find, in this episode, we're gonna find uh, jewelry, some vintage video games, some pretty cool furniture. So uh, be, be sure to stick around for the whole time. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to enter yourself into the giveaway for this Grand Theft Auto uh, sealed. It's part of a two piece fat pack for the PlayStation 2, around $100 in value. All you have to do if we get to 500 subscribers is to comment below Grand Theft Auto if you want to be in the sweepstakes. I'll be giving it away on December 31st if we get to 500 subscribers. If not, that's okay. I'll just bump it forward another month to January 31st. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. Come check out the storage unit with me. Hey, what's up, Gravy Flips? As I mentioned in my last video, I got my hands on a really big, uh, I think it's like a 20 by 30 storage unit that I'm gonna empty. When I've, when I've been in the, the cleaning out business for a while and dealing enough like collectibles and furniture and stuff, you get to make relationships. And the owner of the storage unit facility just kind of gave me free reign because they didn't want to have to have uh, to pay someone to empty it out and it takes time to run auctions so they have dumpsters and they're giving me full permission to use my trailer and to go picking through all this because i'm doing them both a favor by bringing it all to the dumpster for them uh so all it's going to cost me is maybe like three hours of digging through stuff so i think it's gonna be a pretty cool episode because you guys get to see what it's like to empty out a storage unit i have zero dollars into this the dumpsters are like a mile from here so really i'm just going to go back and forth and back and forth and this is a really lucky kind of find so i'm hoping we can find some like vintage video games some old jewelry just find something it's gonna be a lot like a storage words episode so i got my tripod right there oh, it's over there and let's see how this goes from the start, I can see a pretty cool display thing that had some broken glass in it, but this could be a really cool episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. So this is what the storage unit looks like, you know, just walking up to it. Uh, I have my 6x10 trailer empty, and I'm going to fill this up probably four or five times. Um, I have my dolly here for the bigger stuff and my tripod to get some B-reel of me going in. You know, just upon my, my first coming in, there's a really cool, you know, glass case here. And I apologize if there's any wind, I'm just using my phone. I'm not I'm not one of those sophisticated tubers who have like a, a really fancy setup. There's a lot of books and everything. See some pretty cool glassware, some pills and stuff. And we have to just trash those, but essentially I'm just gonna bring all this to the storage unit. And if I find anything cool in here, like here's a here's an old RCA thing. So you know I'm seeing some some electronics in here. So there's a cool shelf. I could probably get like 25, 40 bucks for that shelf. There's some, a pair of winter tires that are studded. You can normally get like $50 for those. Some old shoes, but you know, 90% of those are going to end up in the dumpster. So we'll see how this goes. I'll leave it recording and we'll have a great video. I'm already starting to see one of those old, see that white cube right there? I normally sell those for like 50 bucks, so that's a good start. Uh, there's a really nice, like a, it's like a cupboard here with a, well, it's actually a pretty nice computer bag. A really nice like Swiss Army uh, computer bag. This is actually might, might be worth putting to the side. This right here, uh, I just put a screw right there. Definitely a nice little bookshelf. Uh, it's missing a few things, but I think someone would pay 25 bucks for this. And we got a nice desk right there. I wish this didn't have broken glass or else I could probably get some some fair change on this. But So, so far I think 25 there and let me dig out that shelf. I just found our first video game. Our first video game is Xbox 360 Sims. So I'm already, if I'm already finding video games, this is freaking awesome. We might find some more. It was right here. We got some old candles. This is the magic of picking. You really don't know what you're gonna find, so. Let's see. Uh, Found some money too. So we're already making our, our, our time back. Six cents. All right. 
We have Christmas lights. Let me bring it over to you. We have Christmas lights, you know. We've got a Santa Claus, a bunch of Santa hats. So this is Christmas stuff, man. This is definitely worth putting to the side. So far we have a giant tote of Christmas. You know, if this were in better condition, yeah, I could clean it up, but uh, I don't know. It just looks like it's been sitting for a while. So I'm gonna put this to the, just bring it straight to the dump. Oh, this is an old bed frame. All right, that's cool. Put this to the side. Once I look at this and measure it and figure out, you know, if it's clean or not, it'll give me an idea of like, you know, what size it is. I think it's a king size because they're two pieces that come together. I have an old printer. Look at that. Here's an old mouse. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. An old sweetheart teddy bear. I'll put that there for now. Put this in this box. We have a pretty cool Christmas uh, Christmas decoration. I know my wife's probably gonna want to clean that and keep it. Some food, some glassware. It really doesn't wear much. More Christmas stuff, more lights, more ornaments, more book covers, some flowers. Nothing. All right, let's check out this microwave. The microwave. I'm just gonna trash it. Another printer. Actually, got a bunch of markers. Got like an old softball. Got books. You always want to check for cases like this, especially when they're empty. Got more books. Got flower, flower vase. I'm gonna toss this to the side. I'll bring them in. Bring the bag here. Got our box. Just has a PlayStation One. What is this? Is that a PS One adapter? That's a Sony PlayStation plug right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this could be an indicator of something something good to come. Let me put that to the side. There's another box. Got a TY Beanie Baby. Or maybe not. Here's a box of some stuff. Old birthday cards and stuff. I should be checking all these to see if there's cash in them. But who has time for that? Let's move it over to here. I already showed you guys these. You know, you think these are worth something, but they're really not. Oh, hey. We got some discs. Oh, what's this? An old walkie. We have a sand disc. So walkie talkies are worth something. There might actually be some video games in here. Let me let me put this to the side. Let's go through these this bag of discs. Let's hope we got some high dollar video games in here. Oh, we got our first PlayStation 1 game. I thought that was a video game. We got Surfer for the PS1. Got a bunch of DVDs. We got another PS1 game. Limitless, The Bundy, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, we have a Grateful Dead CD, Haunted Mansion. But hey, I'm glad to see that we already have two video games in here. Makes me a little more optimistic that we might find some, uh, some more video games. So yeah, we got Surfer and The Plan for the PS1. And they're not that badly scratched up. Just, uh, all right, let's check this box here. This is pretty cool. I'm sure this is sell for something at a garage sale, you know, but I'm gonna trash it because it's not in good condition. All right, what do we got in this box? Uh, we have a box, a bunch of weight loss stuff, scissors, there's meat scissors, flowers. Nothing really going on in this box. I gotta move you. So, Ooh. I mean, this is just trash right here. Bring it over here. Let's see some more electronics. We got a, what is this? Someone's notes for college. But we have some Sony. What is this? Oh, it's an Xfinity thing with a bunch of wires and stuff like that. Okay. In here we got it's like a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, so blue. Oh, I got some sunglasses. Peppers. I put those to the side because I always need sunglasses. You know, you might think it's gross digging through people's trash, but like, honestly, if you're weird like me, it's quite exhilarating. Shop. What's in here? Stuff. Oh, do I hear money? Alright. Other junk box. Uh, 
All right, let's go into this one over here. We got a cool jacket. Looks like a girl's jacket. It's a Schmidt. Never heard of that. I used to sell coats. But I've stopped. Uh, and here we got a bunch of beauty products. A bunch of pictures. More. More stuff. Yeah, this is the boring part. This is just all the personal stuff that you find. Bag. We have a, this is a jewelry box. What's in here? This could be something magical. Ooh, what do we got in here? High school diploma from Indiana. Well, looks like we got hair. Ew. Old books. No, it's really sad when people don't pay their stuff because they miss out on some cool, you know. Uh, obviously, I have no emotional attachment to any of this, so I'm just going through it, you know, throwing it aside. But here's a cool. Yeah, it's not really worth much. Okay, but, you know, I feel that out, because, uh, this is a pretty cool box, you know, that box might have, like, $10 worth of it, at a garage sale. Okay, let's keep digging. Another box. Ooh. Oh, now we're talking. Here we go. Now we got some jewelry. Heck yeah. Dude, that's quite a bit of jewelry. Look at all that. I don't know if any of it's actually like real gold, but heck yeah. We have to put this aside to see. We got some cool. Uh, people, they look for jewelry when you're doing this kind of stuff because, uh, it's oftentimes, um, gold and you can just have people, you can just bring it to a pawn shop. So, cool how you're there. Right. Dude, we still have like a crap ton more to go through. Uh, over here, got a bunch of pictures, got a tape thing I can use. Hmm. You know, we're finding some pretty vintage stuff in here, so maybe we'll find some old, like, Pokemon cards. Okay, I don't know if any of you guys know anything about this, but like, here's some moisture therapy stuff. It's a lot of, looks like a lot of Avon stuff. I'm gonna toss it because I don't mess with body with beauty products. Bring you back here. Set you up. It's a foldable chair. Sucks it's all torn up, you know? It's going straight to the dumpster. Oh, cool. I found a dresser. Dressers are like $50. Heck yeah. All right, let's get back there. I'm seeing a dresser's buried in there. I made a, a guide about how to uh, 
build a side income by just selling one dresser per day. So if you know me, I'm pretty excited to see that. Um, so we got in here, new clothes, jewelry. Playing cards, nail clippers. Is this like an old necklace? Might be worth it. All right, y'all. We got a quarter. Yeah. And some jewelry. I'm going to throw that in our jewelry box. Cool. So they're done. I'm excited to see what's in that, uh, that old tote over there, so let's see. I love totes. <laughs> okay, let's go in a little bit deeper. Let's see what we got. Christmas stuff, old remote, nothing worth anything, some old like, you know, some like food, food, yeah. some like food pantry I think. What's in here? Ooh. Is this party light? What's all this? Huh. Looks like it's like fragrances for... Ooh, that does stink. And then here we have... Ooh, we have like dolls. What kind of dolls are these? Sugar loaf. What the heck are sugar loaves? I've never seen costume kids sugar loaves. This might be a box that I put aside because it got a bunch of weird dolls to see if there's any value in there. 